So this question asks you about crowding out. You can show the idea of crowding out using the loanable funds market. When the government spends more money than it brings it in taxes, it goes to the private sector to borrow money for that deficit spending. So this is the real interest rate and the quantity of loans before the government shows up and starts borrowing. When the government starts to borrow, it's going to increase the demand for loans. It's going to increase the real interest rate. Now what this does is it crowds out private sector investors. Here's an example. So I'm a business and I want to take out a loan to buy a new factory and I'm going to pay this real interest rate. But when the government's deficit spending increases that real interest rate, I'm less likely to take out that loan and I'm less likely to invest. The government has crowded me out. Quick bonus round. The writers of the AP test love this idea of crowding out. They ask this question all the time. The majority of the time it asks you questions about the loanable funds market, they're usually asking you questions about deficit spending and the idea of crowding out. So make sure you really understand that concept. It's story time! Okay, we've got four out of the five units done. It's time to take a quick break and listen to a story. I put this story, and other ones like it, on the Microeconomics Review app. It's really good, so enjoy. When I was a senior in high school, I had a big head. Like, I thought I was like the greatest thing in the entire world. That's right, watch out, coming through. Who's Clifford? I am. Get out of my way, freshman. All right, so this one time, it's right after lunch, and all the students go into class, and I'm talking to this girl through the door of a classroom. So, uh, what do you think me and you go out sometime? The bell rings, and the teacher's like, Adios, senior Clifford. It was a Spanish class. So I'll catch you later. So I'm late to class, and I start running to my next class. So as I'm running down the corner to the class, the door swings open, and bam, oh! hits me. Now, I played a lot of football, but I had never been hit so hard in my entire life. I get hit, and I slide like 10 feet on the floor backwards. Oh, I'm like on my backpack. I like slowly like look around, and I look up, and I see who opened the door. It was the smallest little freshman kid in the world. And he had just the most terrified look on his face. So like, I get up all slowly, and I beat the crap out of him. No, I'm just joking, just joking, just joking, just joking. I get up all slowly and like embarrassingly just walk away with my head down to get to class. I go and sit down in my class. Oh, oh. And my friends were like, dude, what the heck happened to you? Do nothing, just leave me alone. For the rest of my senior year, any time I thought I was so awesome, so amazing, so perfect, I'd see that little freshman kid and it would totally deflate my ego. I'd be like, I'd see that kid, and he'd be like, yeah, that's right, man. I know what happened. There's two lessons I learned. Number one, don't be a bully. Number two, any time I walk past the door, I put my hand out to make sure it doesn't hit me in the face. Get out of my way, freshman. Not, am I hurting you? Are you okay? Oh, my neck cracked up. <laughs> How you doing?